Well, here I am alone. How much time has passed, and that flight does not go out of my head. In the transport module, we left the base of the International Space Inspection, and after a while, flew up to our patrol ship Vygat. The co-pilot of the crew, Gleb Sklyrevsky. Port crew, Dr. Karls Dow. Tin, stop it. On behalf of the International Cosmonautics Association, Inspector Lazarev of the first rank started duty. The large electronic computer of the patrol ship Vygic has started its duty. The report was received by the operational duty officer Louis Rover. At the rate of the object, the request has been sent. At the rate of the object, does not respond to the request. Sycamore tree. Sycamore defense is on. The controls are on me. Communication with the center. Is he in touch? What's the matter with you? Attacked by an unknown ship. Take detailed information from my big car. I'm waiting for recommendations. There is. All patrol ships in Sector 9 are on alert number 1. I'm a space inspection base. Calling the center. Unknown object in my sector. The object did not identify itself. What is it? Fire. We are dying. Us.
Everyone, everyone, everyone. Boundary Sector 4, Quadrant 3. An unknown object destroyed the International Space Inspection Base. I am Omega. I am Omega. Unknown object has been identified. This is an Antares class warship. Goes to the security base sector. I am the security base. Antares is in my quadrant. We are trying to attack. Destroy the aggressor. There is. The ship's life support is normal, Commander. Tina died. Attention, attention. All association stations work. At zero o'clock, an unknown ship fired at the Vegach Space Inspection ship. And at eight o'clock in the morning, the same unknown ship destroyed the Space Inspection Station. The entire shift that was on it died. At 12 o'clock, the Omega Tracking Station detected the aggressor ship. It turned out to be an Antares-class rocket belonging to the well-known Mainhouse Company. And when the identified Antares ship appeared in the sector of the International Security Base and tried to attack it, the base, following the order of the center, destroyed the aggressor. And now listen to the emergency message of the chairman of the International Association of Astronautics. The tragic events that have taken place, once again, and with irrefutable evidence, proves the indisputable fact that space cataclysm is generated by the activities of private firms and companies. Obviously, the fact that we have so far used only humane methods in the fight against them has also played a role. Considering all of the above, the association has taken all measures depending on it. I have everything. Thank you for your attention. And here's another mystery. An hour ago, one of the richest people on our planet, multi-billionaire Henry Flea, committed suicide, president of the main house space company. And now, we are going to invite you to a gala conference where the international control will try, perhaps, to shed light on the events that have so excited the whole world. The four in the chairs are the main house board of directors. The fifth one, who walks and is clearly nervous, is their lawyer. And these are members of the international control. Our firm's lawyer will answer all your questions. Are you the company's lawyer? Yes. Is there any connection between the suicide of your president and the tragic events in space? What's the connection? Absolutely none. The Antares ship is yours, and the death of the Astrophysical Laboratory, therefore, is connected with the activities of your company. Three years ago, the company declared Antares as missing. Now it's clear to everyone a gangster took possession of it, which was confirmed by the Cosmonautics Association. What did Mekali and Kubra do in your company? This is an internal matter of our company and therefore, of course, is not subject to discussion. Tell me, are there any questions that you would agree to answer? And in general, are there any aspects of your company's activities subject to, but if not controlled, then discussion in the press and the public? Oh, thankfully not.
Otherwise, you would have done nothing but answer your questions. So ended this more than strange conference. The crew of Antares died, and the main thing now is whether it will be possible to solve this riddle one way or another, on the linked omnipotent main house. Its representatives did not take responsibility for the events that took place in space. Let's hope that the space inspection will identify the true culprits, and they will be punished. The registration department kindly provided us with photos of the crew who went on their space journey on the Antares spacecraft five years ago. Dr. Kober, commander of the expedition, Augusta Michelli, biophysicist. Steve Wilkins, co-pilot. Marjorie Hume, a biologist. Lazarev. Listen carefully, guys. We learned that Antares was coming from the IGNORE system. According to the centers bearing data, it could have started either from the 5th or from the 7th. The 7th has an atmosphere. The center recommends a thorough examination of the 7th. Well, let's get navigation data on my big car. The 7th planet course is an ignorant system. Yes, Reva. Give me information about the Antares crew as well. Good. So they think the entire crew of Antares is dead. And I knew Kustu Michelli and Douglas Kober very well. I discarded the version about gangsters right away. Kober and Michelli are the biggest scientists, and of course, they have nothing to do with it. Then whose handiwork is it? To be honest, I didn't know what to think. It's mind-boggling. For once, humanity has combined its economy to revive one or two dead planets on you. Get in touch. Yes, in touch. Check the modules. Yes, check the modules. The sixth block of photos on the screen. Stop. Stop. Marjorie Hugh a biologist. Gangsters. The gangsters are to blame, but for some reason, the president is shooting. Very logical. Six years ago, Mainhouse sent three Antares to search for energy raw materials to the planets of Bambara. Two of them have returned. The third one, for some reason, ended up in the system of ignorance. Yes, we flew to the north and ended up in the south. Why? But the answer to this question is expected from us. Ugh, damn it. I have a feeling that someone is eavesdropping on us. Then I just didn't pay attention to Gleb's words, but in vain. I wish I knew what was going on down there at that time. And there were, as we learned later, quite strange things happening there. Good evening, Madge. Hello, Doug. You're getting prettier. You will wake me up more quietly. How do they feel? Thank you. Always asleep. Sometimes I wish I was their father. I have news. Soon the match will need your mind, beauty, charm. You. Us. They are flying to us. What am I supposed to do? So far, absolutely nothing. I love it when nothing is required of me. You're doing great. 
Wake up the kids. Kisses when they wake up. How sweet it is to sleep and be aware of one thing, all that you see is not a fairy tale. Steve. Steve. How sweet it is to revel in what you dream. Steve. Steve. Are you enjoying being alone, or are you hiding from me? I'm hiding. Yes. What's in your hand, Steve? Here, look. Are you kidding me? This could end badly. And you're going to kill me. I was joking. Bad jokes, Doc. Well, they're coming to us, Steve. How did they find us? They shot down Mekali. After all, they shot him down. We calculated everything correctly. The inspection ship is flying towards us. This is exactly what we need. Get ready for the reception, Steve. Vygich, Steve is not like our old Antares. Any weapon is powerless against his sycamore defense. Therefore, we need it. That happiness will be prolonged. How sweet is unconsciousness, it allows my desire to come true. But, as it carried, like a dream, the soul languishes that it is destined to wake up soon. The ship is in orbit. The height of the Oko Center is 560 kilometers. The height of the Recenter is 516 kilometers. The period of circulation is 101 minutes. The inclination is 54 three tenths of a degree. Empty? Not a soul. And why did the center decide that Antari started from the seventh? Assumed, but not decided. Our job is to prove either one or the other. I trusted the big machine completely. And yet, I felt that something was wrong here. I decided to send Gleb. Did I risk it? To some extent it is. It's time, Gleb. I'm ready, Commander. BM. The readiness of the first module of the communication beacons to orbit. What does she look like there? You were right, Sergei. Empty? Absolutely. Well, what does it look like after all? To the desert after the earthquake. Yes, it's a creepy picture. Gleb. Gleb. Gleb, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Gleb, there is no connection. Why are you silent? Has something happened? Gleb, I can't hear you. I can't hear you.
communication unit. Where is the purring of the first module? The signals don't go through. Prepare search probes. Maybe he's in the gorge. There are plenty of them there, and the rocks are shielded. Well, damn it. I feel that something else can happen here. Yes, Steve. Go to the module, turn on the SOS. Let them find him now. Marge, did you find anything strange about Steve's behavior? No. And what? No. I can't remember. I forgot. Well, do you like him? I can't see his face. Unbutton the hood, see? And the air here is no worse than on Earth. I'm scared for some reason. Marsh? You're just out of the habit of people. Nothing. Now you have to get used to it. Don't kill his friend. Turned on the sows. No, I forgot. I didn't have time. Did you do it there? Me? Me. You're lying, Steve. Are you lying again? Here, take it. What is it? The key? Why? I don't know. But when I look at it, the music is heard. What the hell kind of music? Never mind, dog. And brush it off. You forgot that there are hundreds of people on Earth who, because of some lousy ribbon, a cross, can sell the most expensive. That's cruel, duck. Go to your room. Wait for me. And I don't want to, duck. Do you hear? I don't want to. Marge. Can you patch it up again? Did you decide to kill his spirit after all? In our business, in order for a person to live, he must first be destroyed, to beat all this sentimental nonsense out of him. How long will it take you? Half an hour. Go get ready. Gleb. Gleb. This is Gleb. Sklyrevsky? Sklyrevsky? I hear you. Where am I taking you? There's Gleb. Slevsky, hold on. Karl, even if you see Adam and Eve there, there's no wrist. Otherwise, you will ruin yourself and Gleb. BM. Readiness of the second module. Well, you. Kill. Well. Only until the end. I don't want to live anymore.
False. There was a week one, but soon we will have a more complicated operation. You will have to be on Vygich. In what way? Soon, his friends will arrive with the guy who is lying there by the module. If you're there, they'll take you with them. Why me? Because you have genius hands, Dr. Hilm. Who will look after the kids? Steve, you're babysitting them right now. Do you understand that we are powerless against their protection so far? I agree, Doc. Pulse is normal. Great. He's going to wake up now. Mudge, you will go to Vygich and disable their sycamore defenses for at least half an hour. I'll do the rest myself. Come on, Steve. You have a great heart. How are you feeling? In my opinion, everything is fine. What happened to me? It's nothing. You got caught in a landslide. And where is your key? The key. Which one? A small one, from which music is heard. Come on, Doc, you dreamed it. The key. Excellent. Get dressed. I'm holding a match. She's flying to Vygich. Brilliant. The house is a class. You have to get everything done before dawn. Can they stop me? They will leave your children orphaned. I understand. I'll do anything. I'm not going any further. And you go out to the module from the side of the rock. Goodbye, Doc. Goodbye, March. We are waiting for you. I see the module. Give it to me on the screen. I don't see it. Spend 200 meters on the bearing. Commander, I see Gleb. I see it too. They're going to see Marjorie now. Then, we will proceed to the second stage. They will contact the center. But we will direct their communication. Gleb. 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 Alive. Жив. Carl. Carl Dmitry Levsky, immediately in the module. Look. Смотри. What are you doing there? What's going on there? Commander, Marjorie Hume is here. What? Marjorie Hume is here. Everything is immediately in the module. How are Marge's kids feeling? Don't they bore you too much? Sleeping. If everyone was like that, I would never have thought that the match was hiding behind such a huge charge of motherhood. Commander, I don't remember everything. I remember coming out of the module, then I saw it. No, oh, first I heard the music, then I saw the road, and that's it. And her? Marjorie Hume. We saw her together with Carl. She was lying not far from the module. What's wrong with her? Shock. Deep shock. So it's not empty after all. And who turned on the SOS? I didn't turn it on, but I don't remember. What and no one around? No. During the descent, and then, it was very light, and when I woke up, some kind of darkness, some kind of purple. 
When can I talk to Majiki? Not soon. BM. Search probes with beacons down. Communication with the center. One mystery followed another. Gleb's memory loss. Marjorie Hume is alone on the seventh planet. That's what I had to think about. And I was thinking, why is our guest wearing such a strange costume? I hurried to contact the center, and it almost ruined us. Center, 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 I'm out, center. I'm a witch. Robert, do you hear me? I have Marjorie Hume on board. Marjorie Hume and Terry's crew doctor. As understood, answer me. Take precautions and continue probing the seventh. Continue, we are waiting for your results urgently. Gleb, turn off the power. Take the power from the emergency. Energy from the emergency. It's her. Ban her. The power unit of absolute protection does not work. The power unit, commander. Not. Need to plant. The ship. Absolute protection does not work. Yes, we need to land the ship. The commander's orders contradict the program. Come on. The answers to the security questions are not logical. The conclusion is that the crew is in a deranged state. Where are you going? Carl. Carl! Come here. He's going to kill Tina. Come to your senses. You're going to kill Tina. We need to land the ship. Commander, we need to land the ship. Yes, yes, yes. We need to land the ship. Absolute protection does not work. Energy, absolute protection. Help me. Come on. The absolute protection unit does not work. There is... Marjorie Hume had blown up a sycamore tree, that was a fact, but she wasn't our opponent. We were subjugated by an unknown foreign will. Whose? I thought then, and did not find an answer. However, I had one guess. My horror story is to believe in it. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I beg you, let me go. I have children. If I don't come back, they will die. They'll die if I don't come back. Oh my God. God, why are you all silent? Well, tell me something. All right. We'll help you, Miss Hugh. Yes. How did you manage so? When he wakes up, call. Come on.
And yet, dear Steve, nothing irreparable has happened. An unaccountable situation, I assumed it. Then the second stage. But now, it should be clear to them that the match alone could not be here. Spirit in vain, we did not take those two who came down here. Steve, dear Steve, we will always have time to take hostages. We need a ship. And Madge, don't worry about her. The second stage is planned in its program. We will help. So far, the connection between the widow and the center is in our hands. We understand you, Lazarev. Take precautions and continue probing the seventh. We are waiting for the result. Don't they understand what we've given them? What's going on here? What do they think? They don't think anything. They demand work from us. Well, Steve, let's hear what was actually recommended to them. Sergei. I can't hear you. If you hear me, leave Orbit 7 immediately. Search teams have gone to your sector. This is serious. Search groups. This is too serious. Professor Augusta Michelli was engaged in the development of fundamental problems of theoretical biophysics. He proposed his idea to many research institutes unsuccessfully. He was hired by the main house company, the Institute of Biomedical Research, took the leading position. Biophysicist Dr. Douglas Hober and biophysicist engineer Steve Wilkins were invited to the laboratory. Biologist Dr. Marderi. BM, is it possible to assume that they jointly developed Meckel's previously rejected ideas? And there is no information in their joint work. Recommendation Vygich should leave the orbit of the seventh. You said you knew them. Yes, I knew. Augusta Meckley is a maximalist. It's either all or nothing. He was always attracted to some large, complex and interesting problems, just like Douglas Cober's ideas. Each of them individually is a talented scientist. Together they are geniuses. But these geniuses, as you say, could not leave one woman on the seventh and rush headlong to destroy everything, to kill. Listen, maybe Antares left the seventh after all, with an auto program, without a crew. And yet, you have enough imagination to assume that this murderous program was invested in Antares by scientists. Then the center requests additional information. And what else can they report? Center, your recommendations contradict the recommendations of my big machine. I'm acting on my own. Check the car. If there is a victim on the 7th, they should be assisted. I don't understand. I refuse to understand. Why? That's right. But it seems that the car is right, not Ruvera. Calm down, Steve. Vygic, Vygic, leave Orbit 7 immediately. It's good that the order doesn't reach Vygic. It would be bad if the search team got ahead of us. Mother, why are you silent, girl? Marjorie Hume's kids are here on the 7th. It's crazy. Look, maybe she is. Just wait, Gleb. No, oh, this is not nonsense. And not a law. And then, I decided to take a step that at first glance might seem ridiculous. What if we let her go? What are you? But we won't let her go alone. Let me go, Mr. Inspector. My children are there. They'll die if I don't come back. Well, I said we'd help you. Mrs. Kill, how do you feel? Thank you. Great. You will return to yourself. We'll even walk you out. 
If you have a desire to warn Если someone about your return, then you can do it. No, no. There's no one there. There are only children. I believe you. Dr. Stenek, show Mrs. Hume out. Let her rest before the road. Thank you, Mr. Inspector. Can't you see she's lying? That's not the point. The fact is that we do not know what and how she blew up the Sycamore power unit. We don't know who's down there. We don't know what's going on here. We don't know anything. But they should know. Even what will happen. Commander Lazarev is under stress. But I know that. Listen. Gleb, do you remember the first and last expedition to the 19th sector of Hyades? Well, the first expedition did not return, it died, the last one. The last expedition reported that it had detected radiation drops, from which the first expedition died, and then, the head of the expedition, academician Orlovo, I found a way to protect myself from tap radiation, it is named after him. Why do you ask? You need the Orlov effect as Marjorie Yu's escort. BM. Effect Lovo. The Orlov effect is reliable for three hours. And from Bioart? There is no information. You should rest before you go, Miss Hugh. I can't. I have a strange feeling that something might happen. Irreparable. And will you accompany me? Is that what you want? Yes. I want it to be you. Now listen to me carefully. If I ask what's new, you will answer nothing yet, so the protection works. If you feel that it refuses, say whatever comes to mind, I will understand. Got it. Well. Victory from here, on remote control. Did you doubt it? Carl. What's new? Nothing yet. It's time. Wait. Coral, can you hear me? Yes, I hear. Pats. Don't worry, please. Good to see you, Marge. Especially you. Meet my colleague. Do you know each other? You're wrong. Please. I'm so worried all of a sudden. How are they? Steve turned out to be a great go. Go, we're waiting for you. That's how we live. Here everyone can have everything. Please. Make yourself comfortable. Do you have any wishes? Don't be sheesh. 
Не стесняйтесь. None. Никаких. I don't believe it. Не верю. Don't you want to say a few words to your commander? Carl, what's new with you? Why don't you answer? Don't you have something to say? Nothing yet. Listen to what the new Gachi heard. Sergey, Gleb, I'm waiting for you here, friends. This is Carl. Him. But, what is it? I wonder why these new friends of ours don't want to talk to us themselves. And who are they? Something else surprises me. What? Carl's voice. You remember our last conversation with the center, their absurd recommendations. What do you think? Deliberate misinformation? Yes. There was no connection with the center. And then I understood everything. I was terrified of what was happening on the 7th. It was necessary to fly there immediately. I didn't even have time to talk to Gleb. I'm ready, Commander. No, oh, I'll go myself. But, and you will descend from the orbit of the 7th and go to the area of the Beta Triangle. We need a clear connection with the center. Carl's defense time ends in two hours. What then, Commander? I remember. Start maneuvering as soon as I left the ship. Connection? Directly. If, are there lighthouses? Hands. We are also forced to defend ourselves. Speaking of protection, maybe you can tell us about it. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't understand. Couldn't a mother be more understanding? She doesn't know anything. And you know, but you won't tell. Steve, look after him. One. Time goes bow. I'm waiting for the maneuver order. The commander's order must be confirmed by the remaining one. Oh, wait a minute. Now, in a couple of minutes. Why did you stop talking, commander? There's interference on the direct link. Wait for the analysis. Fingers. Marge, you were there. Hush, please. You should know everything about protection. After all, you were programmed for this too. Marge. Quiet, please. Honey. A kind, nice, also beautiful woman. Well, remember, for the sake of our past. Well, Mudge, well. I don't remember anything. Fell in love. Marger. He's going to die if you don't remember. I don't know anything. I swear. I swear by the children. I won't kill you.
I can't remember. I can't. Steve, leave him alone. Go meet the guests. Calm, Mr. Stennett. He's not here, Match. Come back and clean yourself up. It's not good if our guests see you like this. Good afternoon, Mr. Inspector. Good afternoon, Mr. Wilkins. Commander Douglas Cober is waiting for you. My God, what a billion who expressed it under the ancient Egyptian. Make yourself comfortable. Yeah. Yes, they have. I am sincerely glad to see you, Mr. Inspector, Douglas. I know what you want to ask me. I want to ask, where and in what condition is the doctor of the space inspection, Carl's Derek? Are you satisfied? Can he hear us? You'll see each other. Is there anything I can do to help? The inspector wants to help criminals. And you consider yourself a criminal, a satisfied inspector. It's time for our new system. And we will create it. That's why we're here. And Gusto Michele brought you to us. It doesn't matter that you arrived here unaware of your destination. You'll find out everything. No, oh, I'm not crazy. Put it out of your mind. And anyway, you know, I know everything you're thinking about. Do you know why the president of your company committed suicide? Of course, out of cowardice. He alone knew what we were working on. On what? More on that later. Is Gusto Michelli's death the result of your efforts? Yes. He sacrificed himself so that you would come here. We need your ship. Anticipating your categorical no, I must warn you. Sooner or later, in one way or another, you will submit to us. In a way or a way. All right. Tell me what I should do. I'll do everything. I offer you cooperation. You take off the protection, we fly to Earth together. If not, I'll find a way to neutralize your defenses anyway, and then... However, 
you still have a couple of hours to make a decision. Time goes bow. The order has not been confirmed. A soulless pile of iron. What do you understand about friendship? Friendship is a complete mutual understanding and trust in each other. So it's time to throw off your crystals. Can I, a friend of Sergei and Karl, leave orbit and leave them down there alone? The commander's order to enter from orbit 7 must be confirmed. Have you heard my suggestion? Can I help you with something? There's only one way you can help me. If you tell me what your defense is, or I'll kill Marshari, follow me. You will see that I am not throwing words to the wind. Protection. It ends. How fast time is Sarah? Go faster. If he doesn't tell me, I'm going to kill your kids, Marge. Do you understand? No. I'm waiting. No. No. I warned you. So what is the essence of your defense? Well, of course, time. Oh my God. The Orlov effect, as I had not guessed before. Marge, calm down. I'm not going to kill your children. Now let's wait for the inspector. In two hours, these gentlemen will invite us to play. Isn't that right, doctor? Don't keep saying the same thing. I understand everything perfectly. You're the smartest, most brilliant, most talented machine in the galaxy. The connection is broken. To restore communication, it is necessary to leave the orbit of the seventh. You'd better tell me how they can be helped immediately. My only chance was to make Steve remember the past, his wife, his daughter, remember everything that happened here on the seventh. Only this could save us all. Where did this moose come from? It seems to be your doctor's. No, oh, it's not the doctor. He had a monkey, Tina, who played. When Gusto Mekali attacked our ship, she died. August. Attacked. It's nonsense. That's when I realized everything. These people were under the power of that sinister wolf that tried to subdue us. And only Steve Wilkins could help us all now. Dad, don't leave. Mom will crawl. She says you are. You're not coming back. Me. I remembered everything. Sergei Lazarev. Go away. Quickly. I'll hold him up. Now I knew where to go and what to do.
You. Don't get in the wet in the way. Don't interfere. Where is he? I remember everything, Doug. We are the slaves of stupidity. Steve. Where is he? It's the same. This is Syriza. Sergei Lazarev he. No, you wouldn't dare. Not even Madge can help you now. Mr. Inspector. Where are you? In a few moments, the Orlov effect will end. Why run and hide? Come back and we'll finish our conversation. If psychological protection has not worked, or its time has run out, what can be done to get out of the radiation? Energy. Energy. Louder. Louder. I don't hear anything. Interference. Artificial. The donor. The donor's energy is needed. Only it is able to overcome artificial interference of any origin. Help. The required dose may be fatal for the donor, so why didn't you say anything before, you soulless piece of wire? I wasn't silent. I was working. The donor is you. The commander's order must be confirmed. I'm ready for the damn pepper shaker. Drop out of orbit in 15 minutes. Keep in touch with the center. That's it. Well then, goodbye, old lady. It's a pity, of course, but goodbye. And yet, you're a damn pepper pot. The donor's energy reception chamber is unlocked. Time has passed. Sergey, it's me, Gleb. Sergey. Sergey, it's me, Gleb. It's me, Gleb. The biker has left orbit. Communication with the gay center. Do you hear, Sergey? It's me, Gleb. Do you hear that? So we met. That's what you are. Oz, an artificial brain, created by the genius of man, and enslaved its creators. How many victims are on your account? You crippled their minds. You took a swing at all of humanity.
Steve. 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 What's the matter with you, Steve? Steve. It's not me. It's not me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where am I? What's wrong with me? Steve. Augusta. Augusta. Carl, we need to find Wilkins Cobra urgently. Gentlemen, don't look for me or Steve. Steve is dead. Steve murdered. Douglas. Douglas. Why did you stop talking? Почему Sergey, leave immediately. Soon everything will blow up here. We won't leave without. Sergey. None of us can stop the time of the explosion. It went after you destroyed that boss. Hurry up. The march will take you to a safe place. Duke, enough senseless sacrifices. Wait, I know everything you're going to say in advance, that I'm innocent. Any court will acquit me, but what kind of trial? Rid me of the consciousness that I am a murderer. You? And who killed Mekali Steve? That's the boss. But we created it. You understand, of course, we are not here to kill people. Help them. I never doubted it. You're a scientist. Yes, I am a scientist. I had to think about the possible consequences of my case, and I was running around with my idea. I didn't notice that someone's experience and turned the arrows on my way. Was it the president's hand? Yes, his. He ordered the program to be changed. At first glance, it seems like little things. I agreed. But because there was nothing that could be done, the president dreamed of suicide bombers, ready not to argue, to fight on his orders, but stupidly was able to make as many of them as he wanted. The new society of robots, that's what threatened humanity. But then, the boss outplayed everything in his own way. Unmanageable human thought, he became a sick brain, and we became his robots, obedient suicides. The first one was in Mechali, and the rest of us would never have returned to Earth, doomed to death, terrible in its senselessness. Doug. It's all in the past now. We are waiting for you. Thank you, Sergei. But no. Marge, I'm sorry I didn't have the strength to stop the boss. Cripples your mind. But mine was sick too. There is a past from which there is no way to the future. Go away. You have only a few minutes left.
You are my land, and with my heart, I feel your warmth in a sad moment, from any distance I will return to you. I will press my cheek to you, my land. My land, you gave me both your love and beauty. The land is mine. I love your kindness throughout my life. I'll carry it. You are my land, that says it all. Everything I live by is connected with you. I am glad to breathe your air. I am glad to look at you. In your eyes. My land, you gave me your love and beauty. The land is mine. I have kindness throughout my life. On behalf of the International Cosmonautics Association, he started duty. Inspector Lazarev of the first rank. 